Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. Just this past week, I've had five viewers call me with problems relating to time calculations. And if my experience is typical, this is probably the most complex or the most frustrating part of using Excel. So over here, I want to perform a calculation to see how much time has elapsed between a start time and an end time. Probably the most common time calculation, for example, hours worked. So in this case, we'll say equal the end time minus the start time. So the greater time minus the lesser time. Here's the first frustration. What we see in the cell for the formula is hours, minutes, and then AM, PM. Well, that just doesn't make sense to a lot of people. It really is a simple matter to just change the formatting for the cell. So right mouse click, choose Format Cells, and over here in the Format Cells dialog box, what I want to do on the Number tab is come down here to Custom. It really is a simple matter of changing the default formatting, which is hours, minutes, AM, PM here in the United States, to another custom format, hours and minutes, H for hour, colon, MM for minutes. Click OK, and there you go. Now we can use our autofill handle, just double click, and we have the elapsed time for any start time and end time. All right, now let's come over here in a different scenario, time that spans midnight. So in this case, let's pretend that the start time is the time that an airplane left Los Angeles International Airport and the time that it landed at London Heathrow. So in this case, equal the landing time minus the takeoff time. And we have a cell that's filled with hash marks. Now, people have seen this before, so they'll say, well, all right, I'll just extend for whatever reason the width of the cell. Well, we still have hash marks. And I could extend this all the way from Los Angeles to London, and I would still have a cell filled with hash marks. All right, now let me explain why. Let's come over here and see how Excel stores time. Excel stores time as a percentage of a 24-hour day. So a 24-hour day would be 100%. Now let's come over here. I have 12 noon and midnight. If I use the keyboard shortcut control tilde, we can see how Excel stores the time. So for 12 noon midday, Excel is storing it as 0.5. And that makes a lot of sense. Half of the day, 50% of the day has elapsed at noon. So what we are seeing over here is that when we come back here to our calculation, we're seeing that as far as Excel is concerned, this time is earlier than this time. Excel can't imagine that we would ever span midnight. So we have to trick it a little bit. So now what we want to do is not just change the formatting. We're going to need to do that, but we need to create a calculation. Now, one way to do that is to use an if function to go through and say, if the end time is going to be earlier than the start time, then add one day to it. Well, there's an easier way to write the formula using the mod function, the modulus function. Let me show you how this works. Equals mod. And what I'm going to do is I'll use the keyboard shortcut control A to bring up the function arguments dialog box. Now, of course, this can be a little confusing down here. What is the modulus? It returns the remainder after a number is divided by a divisor. Whew, makes a <laughs> makes your head spin. Well, in this case, the number is going to be the result of our calculation, taking the end time, the time the plane landed minus the earlier time, the time that the plane took off. The second required argument is the divisor. All you have to know for this formula is that it's going to be 1. So down here, look at the result. It's going to be a percentage of the day. Click OK, and there you go. Now, of course, we need to change the formatting. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right mouse click, and I'm going to take advantage of the mini toolbar, the format paintbrush. So now I'm going to use the same formatting that I had over here, H colon MM. So this makes a lot more sense, 14 hours and 30 minutes. And if I double click to fill that down, there you go. 
All right, now before I go on to the third frustration, let me give you a little review over here. So in the first calculation, remember we came up with 2.30 p.m. or 2.30 a.m., I think it was. So what we need to do when we're subtracting an earlier time from a later time is change the format. I use the custom format H for hour, colon MM for minutes. When we have time that spans midnight, this is a terrific formula equals mod and then the number which is the first required argument is the result of taking the end time minus the start time comma the second required argument is the divisor which in this case will be one and really if you use this for all your time calculations you'll solve a lot of problems also remember that you do have to go back and change the custom format to h colon mm all right, now let's come in here and take a look at the third frustration. My boss says, Danny, I want you to total up the uh, lapse time for all of the records. So equal sum, and I'll just point to the range and write parentheses, and there you go. Five hours and 26 minutes total. Now, I understand that I can copy and paste a formula. Now, in this case, I'm going to do the drag and drop. So if I hold down Control and drag and drop, you see how there's a little a plus sign next to the arrow? So it's taking the formula and copying it over to the new location. And this makes no sense whatsoever. I mean, I can see that this uh, plane trip was 14 hours and 30 minutes. This was 12 hours and 25 minutes. So how am I getting this total of 5.51? Remember the percentage of the day. Well, what Excel is saying, total up to 24 hours, and then when you want the 25th hour, make that one hour. So in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to format the cell and create a different custom format. So in this case, let me move this up. What we need to do is we need to further customize the H colon MM. And this, surprisingly enough, is not one of the choices in here. So we want to put a left bracket and a right bracket around the H for hour. Click OK, and there you go. So actually, if you use that H in, inside brackets, that will really solve a lot of problems. So a left bracket, a right bracket, and you could really use that for uh, the custom format over here. Remember, it's not one of the choices in the custom formatting, so you have to create it by using the brackets. Well, there you go. Now you've solved the problems with calculating time. And if you would like to learn more about Excel, this is one of the tips that I offer on my 50 best tips for Excel 2007. And included on the DVD are the actual workbooks that I use for each of the 50 tips. And I will look for you in the next lesson.